Welcome and thank you for watching this training video on the physical examination section of the MTBC EHR. To document a physical exam, take a look at the physical exam items on the left hand side of your screen. Clicking on the categories on the left hand side will document the normal values for those components. Let's take a look at how this works. If we select the physical exam component for general, we will now be documenting that the patient is well nourished, well developed, normal orientation, normal alertness, and under no distress. The preview at the bottom is also immediately visible. We can go through and mark the other components for the physical exam. If we select skin, eyes and ears, it will automatically place the default values. However, if we want to document that the patient has hearing loss, we can pull down any one of these drop-down menus to choose abnormal values. Here, if we say that the patient has slight hearing loss in the right ear, it will automatically place that item in bold to make it more readable on our final note. We can continue to go through and mark the other items of the physical exam. The preview for all of your sections will appear below. It's important to note that clicking on an item will automatically add the default values. However, if you'd like to describe one of these components with an abnormal value, simply pull down the drop-down menu. If there are no abnormal values to be displayed, you can now free type an abnormal value, which will automatically be saved for use in other charts. Let's take a look at how this works. If we want to say the tonsils are enlarged, we simply type enlarged tonsils. Scrolling down will show us that new entry in bold. If we're finished with this physical exam entry and we click OK to go back to the chart, let's go ahead and see how our abnormal values can be used in other charts. We'll select another patient. We'll create a new chart for this patient. And we'll go to the physical exam. Now, if we select throat for this specific patient, we'll see that the option for enlarged is now available under our drop-down menu. The same will be true for any entry that you make. If we go to ears, we'll see the hearing loss values. And this is also sorted in frequency of use. You can see that any entry you make will automatically be saved and available for future use in other charts. Just as we saw with the review of systems, you can click right from here to go into your physical exam setup. Here, you have all of the different items within your physical exam, as well as the default values for each item. If you'd like to change the order of items in your physical exam, simply click Modify, and then adjust the indexing for that specific item. You can also add new items by finding the row that has the asterisk and describing a new component for that physical exam item. Here, if we want to describe the texture of the skin, we can simply place our cursor in that row and write texture. We can click into the values field to go describe the values. We can also add new values by finding the row that has the asterisk and entering a new item. To make an item a default value, simply put a check mark in that box. Click OK to return back to the physical exam and then click Save. Close this component and then go to that component that you've just modified. Scroll down to see your entry. The physical exam allows you to document any normal or abnormal values with simply one click. If you choose a component but you did not check the patient for that item, simply uncheck that box to remove it from your physical exam. Click OK once again to add this to your note. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.